and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is lowest common ancestor in a binary search tree which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given three parameters first one is the node root which is the root node of this binary search tree and then there are two nodes n1 and n2 which are the nodes whose lowest common ancestor i have to return okay uh, n1 and n2 are those nodes whose lowest common ancestor i have to return okay all right i hope uh, very very clear it is now uh, you will be thinking what is this lowest common ancestor so here it is very beautifully written lowest common ancestor between two nodes n1 and n2 is defined as the lowest node that has both n1 and n2 as descendant okay all right uh, let me quickly explain you with a very good example suppose there are two nodes uh, 4 and 10 4 and 10 are the two nodes which is my n1 and n2 and what we have to do we have to return the lowest common ancestor so lowest common ancestor is basically that parent basically that parent whose children are like lowest children 4 and 10 whose lowest children are these 8 so 8 is my lowest common ancestor okay if you will talk about 10 if you will talk about 10 and 14 whose lowest common ancestor is 12 so it will my answer will be 12 if you will talk about let's suppose 4 and 22 whose lowest common ancestor what will be the lowest common ancestor it will be this 20 node why because this is a div dividing node like after this node both are getting divided both are getting divided after 20 node okay so same thing uh, if i have to tell about 4 and 14 so which is a dividing node of them look if 20 i will say so both are in the left children so it is not a dividing node after that i get 8 so 8 is a dividing node because left is now separate and right is now separate okay so 8 will be our answer in that way we have to do and one more thing is there suppose i have to tell the lowest common ancestor of 12 and 14 what will be the answer in that case in that case the answer will be 12 why because every node is the descendant of itself if you will see here it is clearly written where we allow a node to be a descendant of itself so uh, 12 and 14 if i talk about 12 and 14 so here you will say see 12 is the current node and 12 is the n1 as well so in that case 12 will be my answer uh, very very simple it is i hope the problem statement will be crystal clear to you now like what is the lowest common ancestor okay now let's think of the approaches which we are going to take all right so there is a very beautiful property of binary search tree uh, which is very common as well that all the nodes of the left subtree are smaller than 20 uh, than the root node and the all the elements in the right subtree have value greater than the root node have value greater than the root node okay and it goes on and on if you will see this 12 as well left side value is less than 12 and right side the value is greater than 12 that is 14 okay so very very clear it is i hope now how are we going to take advantage of it look 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 suppose my n1 is 8 n2 is 14 i will simply check yeah 20 key is if 20 will be our dividing node then 1 n1 will be less than 20 and n2 will be greater than 20 then in that case my 20 will be dividing node and i will simply return 20 node okay but here both 8 and 14 are lying on the left side so i will simply go and check the left side only okay all right now again 8 and 14 so yeah i get my 8 node so whenever my current node look i will go to the left and whenever my current node will be equal to either n1 or n2 i will simply return that node which is 8 okay all right but suppose uh, this is 14 and this is 4 this is 14 and this is 4 or we can say 12 let's say 12 n1 is 12 and n2 is 14 all right i first of all check 20 is this the dividing node no because both n1 and n2 are lying in the left subtree okay all right moving on is 8 our answer uh, no why because both 12 and 14 are in the left side of this okay so uh, or in the right side of this so this is also not the uh, lowest common ancestor after that i get 12 12 and 14 i am and i am currently at 12 so in that case whenever my current node is equal to n1 or n2 i will simply return it but if it was 10 let's suppose n1 was 10 so in that case what i will do yeah look one node n1 is less than 10 12 and n2 is greater than 12 in that case this 12 is the dividing node and i will simply return 12 
very very simple it is uh, just taking the advantage of bst so at any point whenever i get a dividing node i will simply return that node and it should be the bottom up approach bottom up approach because we have to tell the lowest common ancestor okay all right i hope it will be uh, very very clear to you now how are we going to approach this so please subscribe the channel and like the video if it is clear to you and uh, yeah comment down how was the explanation now let's move on to the code section very very fast okay so if at any point my root is equal to null in that case i will not do anything and i will simply return root okay otherwise look i have to check like what will be my answer so is this root current root my answer how i'm going to check look if root is the dividing node how to check root is the dividing node uh, let me use a solve function so because n1 i will treat is this huh? because i will treat n1 as the small node and n2 as the greater node and here we are not it's not specified okay so that's why i will make a extra function i will simply do return solve root and uh, i will pass the values of n1 and n2 because n1 and n2 are not needed just their values are needed okay so math dot minimum of n1 dot data comma n2 dot data that will be my n1 like the minimum one of them and now i have to find the maximum of them so math dot max okay and uh, it will be passed here i will receive it in this function it will also return node solve and uh, let's take these three but instead of node now n1 and n2 are integer type okay why because i think it is clear now so yeah now let's quickly read, write the code so if at any point root is equal to null so simply return root okay otherwise is my answer is this root my answer how i'm going to check if n1 is less than root dot data and n2 is greater than root dot data in that case look you can see here n1 is lying in the left subtree because n1 is less n2 will be lying in the right subtree because n2 is greater so this root is the dividing node this root is the dividing node okay so that is one condition of my answer another condition can be ki we allow a node to be a descendant of itself it means ki yaar my root is either equal to n1 or root is equal to n2 in that case root will be my answer i hope you guys are getting so root dot data is equal to n1 or or root dot data is equal to n2 in that case also my answer will be same i will simply return root okay now uh, root is not the answer if i will if i am coming to 136 line here it means root is not the answer so what is the answer it can be either in the left subtree or it will be in the right subtree okay so uh, i will simply check ki yaar look n2 is greater so if at any point n2 is even less than root dot data it means ki uh, my answer will be in the left subtree because if n2 is less so n1 will be less so if both n1 and n2 are less than the root node let's suppose 3 and 4 so of course my it will lie in the left subtree only na so i will simply use that and uh, if n2 is less than root dot data simply return solve function and this time i will pass root dot left and uh, these two variables n1 and n2 otherwise if i am coming to 130 line 139 line it means my answer is in the right subtree and i will simply return right okay all right so i hope it will be very very clear to you now i have taken full time and explained you in detail let's quickly try to submit this and if you have loved the explanation if you have loved my way of teaching please subscribe the channel and like the video because it will really motivate me a lot and uh, time complexity of this will be log n if it is a balanced binary search tree uh, but it is not a balanced binary search tree so in first case i have to traverse all the nodes so the time complexity will be big o of n here and space complexity will be like uh, again i am using recursion so in worst case it will be also big o of n but 
uh, worst case it will be big of n if it is a skewed binary tree skewed binary tree basically mean one's right child is two two's right child is three three's right child is four in that way like it's a linear it's a linked list only okay so but if it is balanced so space complexity will also decrease time complexity will also decrease in that way that way i hope you guys have got the time and space complexity as well so yeah that was it for today i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then like the video comment down subscribe the channel and bye